Good morning, everyone. I'm myself, Pingal Dixit. I'm from NIT Agatala. He's Prakar Agarwal from Manit Bhopal. And we belong to Concept uh, Tutor Group. So let's begin. So firstly, what is Concept Tutor? I will give you a brief overview. So Concept Tutor basically aims at developing educational gaming platforms. So that it is, we are not developing games, we're rather a platform for others so that they can create their own games on it. It's the third year while we're working on this project. So some work has already been done and we have taken it forward. Then the idea behind Concept Tutor is to develop applications that are easy to learn and are fun to use. And we have given a choice that you, we can build applications on Android as well as on, uh, on desktop. So let me tell you what were the needs uh, on the, of the project that we had to fulfill. So some things were realized that uh, some need, things were needed to be added on to the existing application. We have an MCQ application that uh, was built and uh, some extra features were add, needed to be added. So we have worked on that. Firstly is distribution. So basically we could create quizzes on our application, MCQ application, but there was no way to share it with other app, uh, uh, others on other devices. So we uh, built a mechanism for that. Secondly, access control. Right now, previously, there was no way to uh, restrict uh, rights. So everyone could create a quiz or play a quiz. There was no way to limit the access to the application. So we worked on that. And thirdly was content enable mechanism so that we have to restrict uh, access to the data so that only the data can be accessed only after a particular uh, date. And finally, we had to come up with a solution for an annotation based gaming uh, application. So let's talk about distribution. So basically what we wanted to do was to develop, uh, 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 to add a feature of distribution or sharing in such a way that uh, we could uh, address uh, those areas, uh, focus on these areas where there was not internet connection. So uh, basically our focus was to provide a solution that is easy, uh, easily available even in the remote areas. So that's why we came up with the Bluetooth functionality uh, to transfer the content from one device to the other. Uh, we, for that, we created a Java plugin for Android devices. And uh, since we are storing our data in XML file, so with this, we can transfer the data in XML format from one device to the other. Secondly, access control. So now, s considering teacher-student scenario, uh, if earlier, when there was no access control mechanism, if the teacher created something, anyone could create a quiz and it, anyone could play it. So if considering teacher student scenario, if we wanted that the teacher creates the quiz and the student is only able to play it, so what was needed that we had to build two different applications, one only to create and the other to play it. So what we did that, we implemented an access control mechanism so that we can use the same uh, application to uh, fulfill both the tasks. So what we did that, we built a dynamic role creation model. So with this that, we can create a role ourselves uh, choosing whatever permissions there are available. So now we can have different uh, types of users, say a student or a teacher, with different roles and different rights. So that is the access control part. Now coming to encryption. So when we implemented access control, we thought that, okay, I'm storing the data in XML files, so there was a need to encrypt it as well. So we added some form of encryption. We used uh, the, in, uh, the inbuilt library, cryptography library that C Sharp supports for that purpose, and in the background that uh, uses a uh, region dial algorithm. So and then content enable mechanism. So what content enable mechanism is that supposedly a teacher uh, creates four quizzes and uh, at once now uh, and gives it to all the students. Now the students are curious. They would like to uh, see or go through all of them at once. So what we wanted that in order to remove distraction and to maintain the same flow of uh, uh, in which the things were to be studied. So we added this feature that the teacher can add a particular date. Only after that date, the quiz will open and unlock and the uh, student can give it. Then the second application that we built was, is Visual Tutor application. This is our answer to the annotation gaming solution that we had to build. So with this application, we can create image annotations. But by image annotation, we need, uh, mean that we can pick up an image, we can draw an area on it, and after drawing an area, we can add a description to that image. So in this application, we have also added voice support to it. Supposedly, we are rating uh, uh, so that when we touch a particular region that we have drawn with a description, we also get uh, a voice uh, that reads it. So basically, the voice support is only for English right now. Uh, 
And for that, we have also built a Java plugin uh, to support browsing and uh, this text-to-speech functionality in Android. Then comes the multi-language support. So whatever applications uh, in India, we have different regions with different people speaking different languages. So what we needed that to, in order to uh, address a broader range of people, what we wanted was to uh, allow multiple language support. So both these applications, uh, we are able to uh, create quizzes in whatever language you want, whether it's Marathi or Hindi or English, well, it's up to you. So now let's come up to the demo. Now we will be showing you demo of our applications. First, we will show our MCQ quiz gaming platform. So this is the main login screen of the module. And now we will log in. At the bottom of the screen, you can see that you have a forgot your details session. Okay. Now, since we have logged in with admin credentials, therefore, all the modules in the app are enabled by default. So we can go to a user list and add a new user there. Now we can add a new row. Now we will add a new user. Now we will assign a role to the user. Now we have two options. You created a password for the user. Yes, sir. So, why? So, actually, sir? we are distributing, uh, so it's like that the teacher uh, has the credential and How does the user know what is his password? So, they are, so the teacher has to distribute it to the student that this is your password and you have to act it. You know that this is a complete no no, correct? This is a complete no no. If your student is a, teach, uh, is a young child, you are damaging him for life. Password cannot be written down, transmitted, etc., like that in an email. Nobody does it. We have a completely offline application. There are so many forgot passwords, correct? Okay. All over the world. Okay. Does anybody say, I have forgotten my password? This is your password. Do I ever get a mail? I don't. Passwords are never supposed to be written down. I can't write down my own password and keep it in my wallet. That is not, that is a no-no. Okay. So when the new, stu new student logs in, okay, yes, is he going to change his password or is he not going to change his password? Are you forcing him to change the password? No, sir. Passwords are never to be transmitted. Never. Okay. So we can choose from. Spoken word is probably okay, but that also is not, should not be there. And you, when you typed in the password, I could see it. So right now we will create a new role. Now we will make a student role. And. And we will assign a play quiz and view cell score right. Now we will save the details and add the details. So a new row has been created. And now we will save our config file. So we have also added the distribution mechanism in the app. Now we will show you that. We'll go to share. Now we will browse for a quiz file. file manager so right now so he can be anyone anyone expect a student to do browsing like this no sir actually it is the job of the teacher to distribute the quizzes to the student yeah, but the stud is the student prevented from browsing like this? Yes, sir. So we can sir. set a particular path and the quiz will be read from that directly directly. So the only when you set the path in the I that's not the question I asked. Is the student prevented from doing this? Yes, sir. Surely. How? Right. Right. So show me in that original create user where there is a browse thing. In fact, that is what we have to see. What are the things you can enable and disable? So that will give me the full features of the system, hopefully. Create a new role. Right now, please create. 
Play quiz, create quiz, edit, edit quiz, quiz, create role, assign. Uh, okay. This is only admin can do this, correct? Yes. Sir. Yes. View spell, self score, view all scores, view user list, edit user list. This does not say browsing of that directory. <coughs> this is allowed. Rest of all is restricted. But then, uh, that's what I asked. Who is allowed to go to the directory? You said anybody can. Yes, sir, anybody can, but student don't need to because teacher don't will. Need to is not a different, a different thing. Anybody is not an answer. You have to give a specific answer. Okay. okay. Student can, no? Yes, sir, student can. Right. Say, provided he should be given the right. Or no, something. but he is not allowed to give the right or this thing. He already has the right. So this is not part of the of the list of permissions. You have to add this. Okay, sir. Or you have to prevent it. That yes. all the hidden things. Which are not a part of that. Okay, only the admin should have access. That is all. That is perfect because nobody knows about them. Mm. Okay, so these are visible things. These are visible things which you are allowing the the flexibility to do. There are certain things which you will never allow, but always allowed things should not exist and not should not be this browsing of that those games. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. So we'll browse for the file now. Now these are the list of our quiz files in .xml extension. Now we have chosen a file. We cl will click on send. <coughs> now these are the list of devices available. So you can see that there is a pop-up that do you want to receive this file in the other device. So we have accepted it and the file is successfully transferred. I've got a basic question. Yes. Yeah. This concept tutor, how is it supposed to work? So what is that you want to How is that Who is the target audience? Is it for a school? Is it for a village? Is it for the whole community? Is it completely open so that anybody can work? What is the, what is the so concept we, of the concept? When we built it, we were focusing a broader uh, well, the application that we have built that has a broader scope, but while developing it, we focus basically on uh, teachers and so. Yes, sir. What is the mechanism by which this will become this will reach other people? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Right. Yeah. So there is a school. Yeah. The school and the teacher, that is the environment. Yes, sir. It's not anybody's organization. Yes. Okay. So is there a way by which, uh, why do I have a list of devices? Then? So this is devices. So this is what we are doing that in a classroom there are multiple devices. So we have to transfer the files now. Is it mobile application in the classroom that it is not a classroom? Okay. Are you talking about a classroom with mobile applications? So we have a web based system, I don't understand. Okay. When I see blue tool, I I think this. When I think this, okay, it is not classroom. It is not teacher. It is not uh, your uh, what do you call it uh, time. Okay. All the features that you have done, I see a I see a problem in uh, clarity. Okay. It is too many things at the same time. The moment it is mobile, classroom is out. The moment it is mobile, teacher is out. The moment it is mobile, okay, what, what, what was I talking about? Content enabling. I will do the quiz at this time is out. It does not apply. Okay. The, this content, that's what why content enable. And I said, what is the target? Okay. The moment I see content enable, okay, feature, I see a teacher teaching a class. Okay. That is that is the thing when which I ye quiz may up de dunga. Okay. That is the only thing only place where I see content enable being applicable. Maybe in MOOC also where it's a big one one teacher giving a class of ten thousand people. 
but still it's restricted entry. Okay. So in which case, your application should have some means by saying, these people are entered in this class. I don't see that concept. Mm. Okay. Okay. And if you want to be everything for everybody, okay, at the top level, you should have that concept. Very clear. We build a platform. This platform can be used in this manner for a school, wherein we will accept a list of students of or for the school and it will not work on the mobile. It will work on a laptop or something with the school owns. Okay. Or if it if it is on the mobile, I, I don't know how mobile applies for a school. I have not seen it. Maybe in the future it will. This is not for mobile, this is for the tablet. Tablet, sir. Even the BMC every year gives to the all BMC schools. So that is why the basically the focus is as it is a tablet. Okay. I don't see a tablet. Yes, sir, for the demonstration purpose we use the phones. No, why? Should you use a tablet? You are given a tablet, right? Or he grabbed it all himself. Yes. Diya a tablet. Huh. So why it was not shown on that? Does it work on that? How do I know? So if it has a Bluetooth, then it will work. See, if, so it doesn't work. No, sir. When you say no, it works, you have tested it. The application will work. For the Bluetooth feature, we will have to have something, uh, a Bluetooth. Uh, but, but then you should have said it doesn't work. Either it works or doesn't work. Or the third answer is, I don't know. No, I have got people who have said that on the Akash tablet, okay, whatever they have done does not work. They have tested it. So we have tested our application. It runs on, on the it, Ak on Are, Akash tablet. Whatever you have done doesn't work on the yes, Akash tablet. Sir, the application runs, but uh, I think that there is no Bluetooth support in Akash. So that See, Akash up. one or two, three, what we have didn't have Bluetooth support. So although it is, it doesn't work. We have no, no, tested but our Akash is not the limit. Runs. No, Akash, uh, Akash was the history. Uh, yeah, so, we, we are going to… <laughs> it doesn't work. We have tested it doesn't work because Akash doesn't do perfect. I have no problem. Only so why is half-hearted with no, method? Sir, the Bluetooth feature does not work. The application runs. Because Bluetooth is not available, yes, you should say. Not the, work, what is this? The, the feature is so not available. on Akash tablet, it works with Wi-Fi. No, sir. We haven't added a Wi-Fi So, wha how, what do you mean it works? How do I get it on Akash first? It is not Wi-Fi, it is not Bluetooth. How do I get it on my tablet? Say Akash doesn't support this Bluetooth functionality. That is why it will not work. This is this may be a complete answer. Yes. Right. Continue. So now we will log out, and we will log in from our newly created student. No, no. We continue. I think you should show me only one feature which you want to show. Okay, sir. So you can see that uh, those uh, buttons are disabled for the student user. He has only play rights and view score rights. Okay, this this rights and uh, user model is, I think that we understood. Don't go through all the things. We are running out of time. You go to your next feature, what you have and just… W so we will be showing you our next application, the image annotation app. We are the main screen. We will first create an image file. We will pick our image and now we will click on draw area and draw lines on the image. Now when we tap on stop drawing, a pop-up will be shown to save description. So we are giving a description to that area. We will draw another polygon. Add a description, click on add. Okay. So now we will save this family. So our quiz is saved. Now we can play the now go to family file. As you can see, the areas that we have marked have a pointer to it. Now when we will click near the region to that pointer, the description will be shown along with the voice. Mother. Grandpa. Mother. 
this is how our app works. Ensure high pointers. So using text to speech. Yes, yes sir. Thank you.